Hey Jiggy, so yeah, today we are doing an easy freehand plaid. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So for this money I'm using two of Keister Black's new water permeable nail polish. The first one is Typhoon, it's a really light colour. And then the other one is called Soot, which is a lovely dark grey. So I'm starting off with a base of Typhoon and as you can see its coverage is dreamy, creamy and beautiful. These polishes are amazing. Now I'm going to be doing a gradient for the background of the plaid and to do that, well obviously I'm going to protect the skin around my nails so I'm going to be using some Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss. I already have a coat of Sesh Feet over the top of that Typhoon to protect it from lifting when I use the sponge. That's very important. Also I forgot to mention that I have OPI's Alpine Snow on my pinky and my index nails. So taking my pre-dampened latex free sponge I'm going to splotch the uh, Typhoon which is the base colour and the soot onto the sponge and then just dab that on my nail. Now as you can see this is a very subtle gradient, it's not meant to be in your face or anything like that, that's not what I was going for. Once the gradient's complete you can go ahead and remove whatever it is that you're using to protect the skin around your nails. Of course I'm using uh, Simply Peel by Bliss Kiss for this one. Uh, you want to take that off straight away, you don't want to let it sit there and let the polish dry. No, no, don't do that. Then you want to take care of any small amount of cleanup you need to do. Of course I'm using my Royal Majestic brush and my non-acetone remover as per usual. Next to do the plaid I'm going to be using my RKF brush from the Stylish Nail Art Shop and some white and black acrylic craft paint. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to my white acrylic craft paint, not a lot but just a small smidge amount because the if it's a little bit thinner it'll be a little easier to work with. Uh, now also I wanted to mention about the brush. This RKF brush is a medium liner brush and I know some people might look at that and go well I've got, not going to have any control over that. Uh, I don't know why it works or how it works but using a longer brush actually gives you more control when you're trying to create uh, straight lines. I don't know why it works, it just does. So as you can see for the plaid design we're going to do one white line down the side of the nail and then from that we're going to then do another white line on the other side of your nail and then from there you're going to do another white line across your nail. Now the best way to get a straight line across your nail is to put your brush on one side of your nail and then roll your nail towards you or away from you but I think it works better if you roll it towards you and that's how you get your lovely straight line across your nail. Next to finish off your plaid design we're going to add some black and firstly we're going to start with a black line across the nail at the bottom and then we're going to do another horizontal line going down from that first white line that we did and then you have your plaid design. It's as simple as that. It is actually a lot easier than it looks uh, or what you think it might be. Give it a go and let me know how you go. I'd really like to know. I would. Once all of that is completely dry you can go ahead and seal it all in with a good quality top coat. Of course I'm using Sesh Feet as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I love how the gradient turned out. It's so subtle. I really love it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.